Welcome to InfoCloud. I'm sorry if I seem a little tired. I just got back from Hong Kong today. I took a red-eye flight. Red-eye flights are really difficult. I can never sleep on planes, so flying overnight always throws off my sleep schedule. Well, that is why they call them red-eye flights, after all. Because you can't sleep. The next day, your eyes might be red from lack of sleep. A lot of times, the red-eye flights are cheaper, and I'll bet that's why Joe scheduled a flight for last night. Actually, I was supposed to fly in yesterday evening, but I got bumped from my flight. The flight was overbooked, so I volunteered to give up my seat. Ah, I understand. The airline must have rebooked you on a red-eye flight to get you home on a plane that wasn't full. I actually love getting bumped, even if I have to take a red eye to get home. Since I was bumped from my flight, the airline credited me enough to get another flight for free. 喜欢出国旅游的朋友们应该会对今天分享的两个用语有很大的兴趣。第一个是 red eye flight， 红眼航班，这是什么意思呢？现在有很多廉价机票可以让你搭乘。深夜起飞，隔天早上抵达目的地的航班，因为在飞机上睡觉不舒服，所以隔天抵达时眼睛都会红红的。所以这些过夜航班就叫做 red eye flight。有的时候，航空公司在处理乘客定位时，会允许超出机位数量的定位措施，但是如果最后没有人取消，机位就会不够，有些乘客就会被。Bumped from the flight. 字面上的意思就是被挤下班机，必须搭乘另外一个航班。这个时候，乘客就可以要求航空公司赔偿，通常是现金或是免费机票。这就是今天的 InfoCloud。我们下次云端见。